Hi, welcome to Plaid Craft TV. I'm Kathy Fillion. And I'm Steve Piacenza. Today, we're taking a dollar store mirror like this and altering it into something any girl would love to have. I'll take that. To the dollar store mirror, we altered them using scrapbook papers, we've made paper flowers, we've added trim and ribbons, and we've used some of my favorite stuff, Sparkle Mod Podge. Super easy to get started. The first thing we did was, got our dollar store mirror just like this, and we made a template. And we just traced around the top of it here and the handle, just like that. So then we chose the paper of our choice, just like this, cut it out. This is the top portion. This is the handle portion. And we just Mod Podged right on top. We're using the matte Mod Podge and we're just gonna add it right on top of our mirror. You know, these would be great for bridesmaids gifts yeah. or if you've got like a cheer group or a slumber party group coming over, everybody could make their own or you could make them and just give them out as gifts. Yeah, it's also a really fun project for mother daughters to do oh, together. Yeah. A lot of fun and very easy to do and we're just adding our Mod Podge right on top of the back of our mirror. And then we're gonna place our decorative paper right on top, just like that. I like to press it down a little bit at first and then use the brayer and go right over it. And this is going to eliminate any air bubbles. It gives it a nice complete seal all the way around. And then of course you can go right back on top with your finger. I just like to go around the edges Make sure there's no excess Mod Podge on there that's seeping out. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing right down here on the bottom, right on our handle. Very simple, very easy. And of course, we love using the Mod Podge. It dries completely clear, you're not gonna see any lines. I think it's like a crafter's staple. Like everyone has Mod Podge. And if you don't, you should. And there we go. There we go, finished it out. That's the way it looks, but we're not done yet. I have one right over here that's dried. We let this dry about an hour, so it's completely dry. We wanna add a little bit more to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some Mod Podge Sparkle right on top of this. This is gonna give it a little bit of pow. Yeah, and I love this sparkle too because the sparkle's so fine and beautiful. It's not like a heavy application. Yeah, and you can really see it in the light. We're just gonna go right on top of it, covering the entire mirror. And you still see the paper through there. I mean, it's it's not such a heavy glitter that you're not gonna still get your image. Oh, not at all. This is just gonna add a nice light coat with all that glitter in there. Again, dries completely clear, but this time we're gonna get that nice pop of glitter. And then gonna go right down here on the handle and do the exact same thing. Set that aside to dry. Here's a dried one, you can see that. Is it a nice little sparkle on top of it, completely dry. And now we're gonna move on to the next step and Kathy's gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna add some embellishments to this mirror and we've got trim going on. You can see this great paper flower and I wanna show you how to make these torn paper flowers. They're very simple. And you know, if you've got like scrapbook papers and things like that around, torn book pages, magazine clippings, anything like that, yeah. you can use those to make these because you're only gonna need a small amount. I've got three circles cut out, and then I'm just torn around the edges to create sort of a tattered look. And I've gone ahead and just crumpled up those circles, and that'll create more of a, an organic flower shape. I'm gonna use the brush stroke Mod Podge. This is a much thicker formula, and just coat that over the entire circle. And I'm gonna do that for all of them. And this is going to create almost a plastic kind of glass, I don't know, like a hard, shiny finish on it. Just one more layer, it really gives it that altered look. Now I'm gonna add the sparkles, and what I'm using is extreme glitter. And this looks white, but it's gonna dry clear with lots of hologram sparkle. And they really named that well, because yeah. it is super extreme. Yeah, it's different from the Mod Podge yeah. glitter in that this is a lot of glitter. So for this, I'm gonna go around the edge. I'm just adding a very thick pool of it around the edge of my largest petal. And then I'm going to solidly brush it over my medium sized one. And then just pull a big drop of it in the center 
for my smallest circle. And that looks like a lot of product on there, and it is, but it's going to really look great once it's dry. So I'm gonna set these aside. You're gonna let these dry for quite a while because there's a lot of product on there. And when they're dry, they're going to look like this. Go ahead and peel them up. You can see you've got some of the edges where you had the overflow. You'll just peel that off. Again, though, you wanna keep a little bit of it on there because that's what creates the organic flower look. Peel off my center one. Peel all that excess around there. You can really start to see how it's got that glassy look on there. And now once you have them peeled off, you'll be ready to hot glue them together. And it's as easy as taking your largest one and adding a drop of hot glue to the center and then place your middle one there. Press and hold that one down. And then we'll take our smallest one and put that in the center. Press and hold that one down using the hot glue gun helper for that. And then I want to add a gem to the center. So I've got a large chunky rhinestone. Just add some hot glue to the back of that. Place that right in the center, just like so. So now you can see we've got our flower shape. It's so simple and you can use scrapbook papers, book pages, whatever you want. And now you're just be ready to hot glue that to your mirror. Look at how great that looks. So well, cute. We're not finished. So then what we're doing is we're gonna add it right on top of our finished mirror, our Mod Podge finished mirror. Place that right there. And then what we did is we got some trim. Trim of your choice, of course. We added the stem that went down and hot glued it all the way around the entire mirror just to finish it off. And then, of course, we added a bow. If you want full instructions on this project, just go to plaidonline.com. And be sure to check out our bonus idea where we take the same paper flowers and we use them to make headbands and accessories. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. See you later. Why don't you tell me my hair doesn't look You're so good? You're looking good. You think so? Yeah.